<laughs> All right, so uh, we got Chris Sly here. Now, uh, you were in this movie, October Baby. Yes. And uh, the film is about, it, it definitely takes on a, a heavy subject of uh, uh, abortion. And this, uh, there's a little bit of the plot line is this girl, her mom went to have an abortion, but then it didn't take. And so all of a sudden, she is born and is adopted and is trying to figure all of this stuff out. Yeah, like 18 years later, tries to figure out who she is because she feels unwanted and and these weird feelings that she doesn't know why yeah. she feels that way. I will say this, that like Christian movies a lot of time are, are, are tough for me to watch because right. a lot of times it's like you get out of telling the story and you're hitting copy points for agenda, you know, and, <laughs> right. and, and, and so that happens. But I, this movie actually had some really good stuff in it and uh, like the guy who plays the lead was very good yeah, and the Jason, girl is very yep. good. Uh, you were good and also they got Bo Duke John Schneider in this bad boy. They did. What? They did. How, how was that playing opposite of uh, Bo Luke uh, from the Dukes of Hazzard. Well, what was funny was that scene that we had together, we were actually not on set together at, at any point. Yeah, like I played it to the camera and you, then Schneider okay. played it to the camera the you opposite You totally way. fooled me because uh, <laughs> check this out. Here's a little bit of uh, Chris Lai doing his acting goodness, interacting with John Schneider. I'm sorry, what did you say your name was again? BMAC. No, your name, your real name, your actual name. I, I go by BMAC. Dude, what's that guy's problem, man? It's your beard. You look like the Unabomber. <laughs> <laughs> so he wasn't even there? No. They, uh, they Fooled had me. One of the, uh, they had one of the camera guys stand in for John Snyder because he was about the same height as John Snyder. That is so. funny, dude. I will tell you this. We're talking to Chris Sly, who's in the new movie, October Baby. You grew a beard for this, <clears> like, <throat> and I didn't think it was possible for you to grow any more hair anywhere other than what's on your head. <laughs> That was crazy. How no, long did that take? I actually did not grow a beard. That was that was a fake beard. Fooled me again! <laughs> oh my goodness! I haven't been fooled this much since uh, Transformers. Yeah, I, I thought that was real. Okay, so <laughs> here, here's the crazy thing. Like they had this like crazy hippie lady come and put this beard on me, and she put a beard on me, and it looked horrible. <laughs> I mean, horrible. Like beyond horrible, it looked like um, like super patchy, and yeah. like it would be like if I actually grew a beard, which is you know I have peach fuzz and that's about it. Okay, so you can't. And it grow just looked one. no, it looked horrible, and so like and plus she was like this hippie lady, and she was like talking to me about like crystals and stuff. Like it was really weird. Like I'm just like I don't know <laughs> what is happening. But anyway, she put this beard on me, and it, oh man, it was it was really really bad. And so then Andy, the director, came in, and he's like, "That doesn't look very good." So they went and got the beard that Jesus wore in this <laughs> in this movie they had made. Oh no way! <laughs> yeah, and so then they were like, "We're gonna have to cut it up." So it was like they put this other beard, and then they cut up pieces of the other beard and put it into this beard that Jesus wore. You so had like a hybrid beard. I did. It was that half was... Jesus and half like goat. Because I was wondering at one point in time, like why they had. Had you shave the beard off? Like I'm like that doesn't really seem to be a plot point. Was it just too hot or something? You know, because <laughs> one minute he's got a beard, the next minute he doesn't. All right, so we're talking to Chris Sly, and he's in the new movie October Baby, and I definitely uh, want to talk a little bit more about the movie and your role in that. We'll do that in ten right here on the Wally Show. Empty in me, This is the Wally Show. We got Chris Sly uh, with us, uh, singer turned actor. Now you're not giving up the singing career to be an actor after you've had a little taste of it in October, maybe, right? No, I'm not giving up music, but I am definitely doing more of the acting thing. I actually, over the last after American Idol, I uh, I was offered a role in a in a pilot for CBS. I was offered a role in a pilot really? for HBO. And uh, both of them, I felt like that um, I couldn't really do the Christian music thing and do that. <laughs> you oh, know, <laughs> wow. Mm. Mm. Especially the HBO one. Like, that was kind of like... But uh, when so life, it, when you, here's the thing. Like, I want to help people out. Like, when you get to a fork in the road and you're not sure which way to go, ask yourself what would Chris Sly do and do the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> That's true because I've made just about every bad business decision that you can make, but I went with what I felt like God wanted me you, to do. You know what? Then you win. You just Jesus juked me. Way to go, Sly. All so right. I, I had had like, so, and I'd have like. Th- in fact, I was supposed to be. They asked me to be uh, this guy in the Final Destination Five. Oh yeah. Yeah, and. So so it's stuff like that that I've I gotten, kinda, gotten, that down. gotten offers on stuff, and I just didn't feel like that they were the right thing. And so I've been holding out for a while trying to find the first thing that I really wanted to do. And I and I when they sent me this script, I was a little scared because the whole Christian movie thing. Right. And, but I talked to the director before I read the script, and he was like, "Hey, look, 
this is a faith-based film, but it is not a Christian movie. This is a movie that takes on, like, it asks questions, but it doesn't tell you how you're supposed to think. And so I read the script, and I thought it was really great, and I called him up, and I said, look, I, I love that you're asking me to be Hannah, but it just doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense for me to, well, I should probably pay a, play a different role than the main like character. Like a guy. Yeah, like a guy. I know I'm cute and everything, but, you know. So, so you play like, okay, describe to me how they describe to you your character for this role. Like, because kind of, I don't want to even say it. I want you to describe, what did they tell you? Um... I basically play like this lovable kind of loser who drives this 1969 VW van. Typecasting. And yeah. (laughs) And and so basically, like, what was funny was the script was really, really good, but the, like, John, who's one of the the co director, there's two brothers who directed it. John wrote it, and he's not necessarily like a funny guy. And so his attempts at humor were, you know, they were good. But as I came in, I was like, hey, do you mind if I just kind of throw some different stuff Look in here? Look at you. So you played around with it, punched up the script a yeah, little bit. Yeah, pretty much all of my scenes were ad-libbed. Everything that made the movie was completely ad-libbed. Like, really? They had this line that was like, uh, I think the only line that I kept from the original script, literally in the whole thing that I did, the only line I kept was the line where they said, you should try out for one of those reality TV shows. And right. I said, no, nah, those things are rigged. Right. Like, yeah, that, that was, was funny, in the script. Though. Yeah. A little nod, you know, <laughs> behind, you know, a little t- take a look at the fourth wall and knock it down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I like that. Uh, here's a little bit of Chris Sly in action uh, in, in the movie October Baby. Hey, who's the old dude, man? Remember Hannah? Yeah, the spaz? Yeah, that's her dad. Oh, hey, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so he plays like this burnout guy with a crazy beard and stuff. And I will tell you this. You were very funny in the movie. Like, you were good at it. So I, I would like to see you do more of that stuff. Well, thank you. I, I studied acting in college and uh, back when I thought I was going to be a serious actor and everything. And then I turned out to be chubby. And, <laughs> you know, so then it was like, well, let's be funny now. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Sly here. He's in the new movie October Baby, and uh, does the camera really add thirty pounds? I think it adds more like sixty. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, you can check that out. It is a very serious and a very heavy movie, uh, but it's well done, and I was glad that you got the opportunity to do that. So it's Chris Sly in the movie October Baby. Thanks so much for being on the show, man. Yeah, man. It's been great. It's good to see you again.